Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, July 11th. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, also keep in mind that this message is not only general, but it is also timeless, okay? So it just because it's coming through for the 11th of July, it doesn't mean it has to resonate on the 11th of July. So at any moment when you find this reading and it resonates with you, it is the message for you at that time, okay? So um, getting into our day or our energies for today, I don't really have much of a pre-shuffle. Um, I mean, some stuff came out before I had even really, like, started. Like, I had just started, like, shuffling the cards in my hand. I wasn't really, like, asking anything. I was just settling in, and some stuff fell out. Um, it, uh, I don't really remember. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't relevant to what we were going through, Spirit just said, or what was supposed to come through for the, today's reading. So, okay. Um, but then I continued and I was channeling the energies and pulling it in and just shuffling a little bit. Um, and I started to see green for the day. All right. So I'm hearing heart chakra. Wow. Okay. Heart chakra activations abound. All right. Well, it may be, um, an effect of the last two readings that we had for morning coffee between the 9th and the 10th of July. If you haven't seen those readings yet, you might want to watch them because <laughs> they were some pretty intense readings. Um, so it seems as if, because also I'm seeing a little bit of purple with that, with this green color. So it seems as if we are actually integrating some of these messages that are coming through here, kids. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. So with that said, I'm just going to get into it. Um, sorry guys, give me a second. Okay, yeah, we're just going to get into it. Let's see what comes out for the day. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, July 11th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Yeah, guys. Okay, um, Spirit's saying to give this five shuffles. There is definitely a, a bit of a purification happening at the moment because as i was channeling the energies for the, today just now and doing the um you know, the prayer over the cards and like just pulling the energies in i was seeing this white color just kind of rise up it was almost as if it was filling a balloon or filling a bubble it was just this pure white energy which was speaking towards purification um and what i was feeling with this green color that i saw in the beginning is that heart chakras are activating or are opening up or are cleansing for the first time in some cases. Now, especially if your heart chakra is clearing up and opening and purging and whatnot and, and cleansing and healing in terms of a specific situation, a romantic relationship, I just heard a marriage for some of you, you're healing from the effects of some sort of, uh, of a marriage or a divorce or a long-term committed relationship, or in terms of what we were talking about specifically for the readings. Oh yeah, look, and justice is on the top. Of the <laughs> justice is on the top of the deck. That's cool. Um, but in terms of uh, uh, like maybe if you are dealing with a twin flame situation or a divine partnership or just a really, really strong um, connection with someone or even attachment to someone that I just heard, your heart is cleansing from that especially if you were resonating with the messages from the last two days. Um, again, if you haven't checked those out, it's from July 10th and July, no, I'm sorry, July 9th and July 10th. Um, and you could even go back to 
the prior week starting July 1st um, cause I feel like the, the messages really in honesty, I feel like the messages that we've been dealing with for the last two weeks now, um, have been pretty much consistent in like a, a similar storyline. Um, but your heart is cleansing, your heart is opening, you're healing from this situation. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're falling back into attachment. I want to say that specifically because I am I am feeling that with this, with, with this cleansing and this healing that I'm picking up on for you guys. It doesn't mean that you're slipping back into an attachment. It doesn't mean that you're slipping back into, say, a runner chaser phase. It's just you're finding peace with the situation. And that is through forgiveness. But again, it's not you're not forgiving for any other person but your own healing. And that's, I don't want people to think that's selfish. It's necessary. Forgiveness is more for you than it is for the other person because the, the, the longer you go while refusing to forgive someone or consciously refusing to forgive someone or something or whatnot, whatever, you're only hurting yourself in the end. You're only causing more trouble, more drama, more turmoil for yourself in the end. Whereas homeboy or homegirl over here probably is completely oblivious to the fact that you're still stewing over X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? So like, unless you have, unless you have that really strong connection with someone and you're feeling each other's energies and every time you start stewing over something, they pick up on it. That's entirely possible. And I do wanna say, Spirit wants me to point out also, you don't have to have a twin flame relationship or a twin flame situation to pick up on other people's energies or to have a really strong bond in which you're, you're feeling what they're going through, okay? Please, don't get it twisted. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna actually shuffle here and we're going to get into these cards. Let's go. Five shuffles. For Thursday, July 11th, 2019. This is three. Thursday, July 11th, 2019, four, uh, and five. Yeah, purple is a very strong color for the day. Um, and I did see a flash of purple in the cards as I was just shuffling, um, and it stuck with me, but also purple was coming through while I was originally channeling, and I saw green. but. The purple is imperative here because it's through this divine wisdom that the purple color represents that you're able to open your heart, to cleanse your heart, to heal, to forgive, to let go, to move forward, all of that stuff, okay? That's like, that's the key to your healing, to, ooh, to your ascension process. It's the wisdom. All right, Thursday, July 11th, 2019. What you got for us today, spirit? What you got, what you got, what you got? Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. Y'all. What's that? Oh, oh. That's justice again, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Interesting. All right. All right. Um, hmm. Well, this shirt is interesting. Overall energy, you have justice. Justice is in reverse now, though. Um, and the back is turned. And you have the Six of Wands in reverse. This is interesting. This is very interesting. What is this saying? But first, let's get into the rest of this. Um, the first card that came flying out was the Ten of Cups. <laughs> Um, and in this depiction here, you see how these two people are on this like deserted island. Maybe they're stranded, maybe not. Um, 
it doesn't look like I'll put it up. I'll put the card back up in a second so you guys can see it. But I'm just trying to take it in here. It doesn't look like this place is all too barren. I mean, you do have this green foliage here be behind them, which to me logically would say, well, maybe there's more to that island. But they are on a beach. Um, they don't look like they have much. They're wearing plain clothes, but they have those 10 cups that are stacked and they have each other. Okay, so what I'm kind of feeling like is this is almost a representation of that balance between masculine and feminine, feminine, an inner union. In this, I'm feeling like this energy, this is the energy of you and I are all we have and that's really all we need. Okay, I, now what I'm also picking up here is I'm picking up I almost want to, I don't, and I don't know if I'm going to, if I'm using this term correctly, but this is kind of what's coming through. So I'm going to say it. It's almost like a proxy relationship to the main central one. The main central relationship being, um, I don't know, the twin flame relationship or um, a, a massive strong bond that you may have with the, with someone. But that that main situation isn't really manifesting right now, but another one is one that is more beneficial in this moment. It's healthier maybe, um, and the, ben the 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 stronger benefit could be coming from the fact that it's allowing you or helping you to heal some things that you need to heal. Um, yeah, a proxy relationship for some of you. This is like a. a it's almost like a detour, but it's not because ultimately, well, maybe it is a detour. Yeah, it is a detour. Um, it's like you're taking the scenic route, but I don't feel like anybody is really upset or at least for the individual that I'm channeling here, channeling for here that is developing this relationship or is manifesting this relationship. I don't think you feel too bad about it at all. I think you're actually quite excited about it. Um, because it feels like it's a balanced relationship. It's a good relationship. Also, the other thing that I'm getting with this 10 of cups is like the two of you have some similar common ground in the sense that you've been through some shit, okay? And so now you've both been through some shit and you, you've landed on this, this island. You don't know where you are. You're probably kind of scared, but then there's this other person there with you and it's like sparks fly immediately that kind of energy, okay? You have the hanged man here. Now, this is the, um, this is this side. This is the, I would say, the, uh, the traditional side of the hanged man, okay? This is what we know of the hanged man from traditional, the traditional rider weight to row, right? This is the other side of the hanged man. Now, the hanged man represents enlightenment, um, being in a precarious position or being stuck in a weird spot, but being in this position allows you to gain a different perspective here, okay? Um, change in perspective, which ultimately leads to enlightenment, right? So. The thing about this side of the card is these two figures here, these two gentlemen that are standing before the hanged man are the two figures that you find in the Hierophant card of this deck. And these two individuals are like um, showing reverence to this Hierophant here. They're, it's almost like they're being induced into you know, the Hierophant situation. Um, or like the Hierophants, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, teachings, I guess. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. Teachings. Okay. But the thing about the Hierophant in this deck is that he wears a mask. Okay. Um, and, but here, these two individuals stand, who are from the Hierophants uh, situation, stand in front of this person that's in this hanged man state and they're almost gaining a new perspective. They're like, especially with all the stars in the sky and everything, 
it's like they're standing in front of this 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 man wondering why he's hanging himself like this wondering why he's put himself in this precarious position and it's almost as if some of the enlightenment from this hanged man is like is like flowing into these two individuals here and so now they're kind of like their eyes are opening to like the bigger things less of the dogma more of the real universal truth okay so, <laughs> so with all of that said i really feel like you guys are really well this is definitely this is definitely a testament to the whole twin flame journey and how we're all learning from each other but then we're all teaching by example which is cool um but there's just, there's a strong change in perspective here. I, I, and because of this, I, I really feel like, well, first of all, because of this, you know, you're being open to the vastness of the universe here. Um, but because of this also, you're now able to see more than just what's in our solar system or what's in our little bubble of the universe. You're now able to see deeper into the universe because I'm seeing this with all of the stars and the, the galaxy being able to be seen, all the different galaxies, the stars, the solar systems and all that. All right. That's a really good thing. What else do we have here? Wow. We've got the four of cups, which is now in reverse and we've got judgment. Okay. So give, uh, um, letting go of the feelings of missing out which is so crazy because yesterday the message was well, not yesterday, two days ago on the ninth, the message was this side of the deck or this side of the card saying someone missed the boat. Well, now on this side of the deck, you have this person that's just sitting here sulking, kind of looking at all those four cups that spilled, maybe kind of feeling kind of apathetic, like they don't really care or they don't have enough energy to care or they maybe want someone to think they don't care, but they really do deep down, whatever. But this is in reverse now with judgment, okay? This element here, this energy of like feeling like you've missed out or feeling apathetic or whatnot or staying in this just apathetic state is no more. You're rising now. The angels are appearing ahead before you but, and to help you with redemption, with resurrection, with cleansing and healing okay but the thing that's specific that i'm getting in this message right here is that these angels it's not that like these angels have just arrived it's just that now you're noticing them because you're getting out of your own way you're getting out of the sorrow the fear the shame the rejection the resentment whatever and now you're able to see the help in your healing that was in front of you the whole time. I just heard you were just too distant to see it. Okay. And then we also have this five of wands here in reverse with the volcano side the, the explosive side flowing, see? Because this side is not as explosive, but you see, you've gotten a big old volcano, all right? This is just a fight of passion, yes? And, but then you also have that with the Four of Pentacles. And to me, what this is saying here, the Four of Pentacles can be a, um, a little bit of a negative card. You know, it can be a, a hoarding energy. It's a Taurus energy. But it doesn't have to be that. Um, I'm seeing stability here, okay? And I'm seeing someone looking off, looking out into the world and looking at it, looking at it less from the eyes of sh strong emotion and passion and more from the eyes of stability and groundedness, which in this moment is a good thing because now we're losing the we're, we're letting go of the volatility represented here in this five of wands with this big ass volcano going off and more from a ground a much more grounded nature and it's i and actually i really do like that um 
I really do like that it's represented here by the Four of Pentacles because the Four of Pentacles is giving an energy of planning for the future and having learned lessons that is helping you embody a much more solid foundation. It's, very, it's a very similar energy to the Four of Wands foundation. It, the difference I would say is when the Four of Wands is talking about a foundation, it's also kind of, it can also lead to, uh, a lend to a bit of a celebration, success, victory, um, more spiritual in nature also because the wands do represent, the, represent spirit. It also has a family energy to it, a family connotation and all that kind of stuff. The Four of Pentacles here is really, for me in this situation, it's speaking to personal stability, personal groundedness, and I'm hearing achievement or a desire to achieve further. I mean, I really see you looking off into the horizon and saying, okay, what can I complete or what can I accomplish next? Or what does this solid foundation that I have within myself allow me to pursue or, 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 or develop further moving forward? This is a very planning energy this feels like. Now, with the overall energies here, honestly, with justice in reverse, but it's this side. This is this is this is the the traditional side. What's this? Oh, look at that! Look at that! The, <laughs> the Knight of Cups. Um, this is the traditional side that we would see normally. This is um, the other side. And this one does kind of have a little bit of a negative connotation. Um, I forget which um, Egyptian god that is. Um, I want to say Bast is what I'm hearing, but um, it's the the ruler, a, a ruler of the underworld in some way, um, is a gatekeeper to the underworld. Um, you know, when justice is served. If the soul is heavy or the heart is heavy, they're taken. This this individual, this this god takes them. Um, but in this side of the card, it represents justice not being in place, and this this god just being able to run amok and just devour souls as she pleases. I believe it's a female god. I'm not sure. I really don't remember. But um, that's to be quite honest. Now it's here in reverse. Okay. And the Knight of Cups is upright underneath that. All right, so here, and then also you have Six of Wands on the other side, which is also reversed. Here, what this is saying is, this is a letting go of this unjust energy. And, ooh, whoa, okay. <laughs> um, especially from like the feminine reading yesterday. I just picked up on this. Some of, some of us feminines have kind of been really, really hurt and lately and have just been like chopping people's heads off left and right all willy-nilly when it probably really wasn't even all that justified Ooh, but <laughs> but with it being in reverse here um i do feel like this is not a blockage it's more of a release of that behavior a release of that that wounding that kept us just in a very reactionary state and the Six of Wands in reverse is, uh, here the Six of Wands in reverse is releasing some sort of saving face energy. On this side of the card, it looks like these people are kind of bloody, right? So they've been through a battle, um, but they were victorious. Here, it, with it being in reverse, um, I'm just feeling a saving face type energy. Um, keeping up appearance. Uh, keeping up a battle cry. I'm pe I'm picking up an energy of um, continuing the war, even though it may not have necessarily been necessary. Yeah. This might be. <clears throat> I don't. This is this is feeling like a kind of a weird 
uh, kind of a weird message. Um, and as I'm seeing it now, you may not resonate with all of this. Um, you may actually resonate with one of these three pieces here. Maybe two of them, or maybe you resonate with three of them, or maybe you don't resonate with any of them. That's fine. <laughs> but it is kind of a disjointed, almost convoluted, me convoluted message. I feel like we might be talking to like a bunch of different pieces of the puzzle here. Or you could resonate with all of it. That's okay. All right. So um, let's move to the cl ooh, the uh, clarity or closing message from the tarot, and then we're going to get our oracle card for the day, yeah? Okay. I'm going to give this three shuffles. Just a closing message here. Um, my attention is being drawn to the judgment card here and the angel on it. Um, so I feel like we're going with some closing guidance in terms of judgment here, but also this might actually be something pretty specific from the angels or your angels. If someone or uh, if some someone comes to mind in that case, oh look, the four of wands. If someone comes to mind in that case, then take it as it resonates. <clears throat> uh, but the angels have a message specifically here. Okay, let's see what you got for us, angels. That's enough. Okay, but there was one other card. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles. All right, um, checkpoint, uh, taking stock, especially with the resurrection and the redemption that's happening. Judgment, again, hello, angels. Okay, with the resurrection and the um, redemption that's happening here, Okay, this is a perfect time to just take stock. If you honestly, what they're saying is if you really just kind of want to rest right now and just let everything flow and see where it takes you or just meditate and understand, try and understand, get a, a, much, a little bit of a deeper understanding, by all means, please do, okay? Because you are at a turning point. You are at a pivotal spot in your life where... I don't want to put too much pressure on you, but what I'm feeling is like the big bulk of your life moving forward is kind of hinging on this moment in time right now. I know that's a lot of pressure, but it's the, the angels are here to help you, okay? The judgment came out twice. The angels are here to help you, so please, they're saying, call on us. Please, 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 we will help, but you have to ask for it. You know, free will and all that. You have the fool, okay? Brand new start, all right? The ace of swords with the queen of cups. Oh, yes, and the empress. Oh, yes, the two of cups. Woo, the tower, the seven of swords, the nine of cups, and the king of swords. Good golly, Miss Molly. Um, so, there is a brand new start happening. And this, this brand new start is coming through because of the realization, the, recogni the recognizing of, the rec recognition, there we go, the recognition of the journey, the path that you're on, what it really means, what it really stands for, what it encompasses, what is possible with it. I mean, all these different things. There's a huge realization that's coming through here, Ace of Swords. Queen of Cups, Empress, and the Two of Cups. All right, so there are some of you feminines out there that really are manifesting a brand new relationship. It could be a marriage, um, but you're really in this abundance, okay? For others of you, for those of you that re resonate more with the masculine energies, you also could be um, manifesting a new relationship um, through the effects of working with your own inner feminine with the empress here so you would be re you would be manifesting a queen of cups okay when as you as you um 
work with your own inner divine feminine and you balance those energies and you integrate those energies, you then allow align yourself or uh, yes, allow yourself to align with an individual who is the external representation of that feminine energy. But that comes with the balance of the masculine and feminine within you here with this two of cups, okay? We have the tower, the seven of swords, the nine of cups, and the king of swords. So, and this actually feels like on both sides for the masculine and the feminine here. I mean, you really could, you really could resonate with any of this, all right? Um, because we all have masculine and feminine energies here, but this just feels like an overall collective energy. The Tower, Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups, King of Swords. This is actually a very good thing. The Tower and the Seven of Swords represents the realization, especially with this Ace of Swords and this King of Swords energy, yeah? Um, because the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords represents seeing things clearly, seeing things as they truly are, not necessarily as you may want them to be or not as you may want them to be. Um, the Tower and the Seven of Swords is the destruction of the constructs, the cycles, the karma. Yes, the karma that leads to deception, awful cycles. And there's a sense of satisfaction now with having surmounted all of that and seeing it for what it truly is, seeing the beauty in it, seeing the lesson in it, uh, and, and moving on, letting go, taking the knowledge that you've got and starting yourself a brand new cycle, free and clear of all that drama. Coming into this cycle, whether you're masculine oriented or feminine oriented, coming into this cycle with a much deeper understanding of unconditional love, a much deeper understanding of your own personal abundance associated with the universal abundance, um, and a, a, a much stronger, a, a much stronger understanding and connection with the inner divine feminine. Maybe even specifically, for some of you specifically, this is, um, this is the process that has helped you, especially for those of you that are more masculine oriented. This is a process that has helped you open up to your intuition, open up to the divine feminine and integrate and balance those situations. Just like for those who are more feminine, you opened up to the masculine, you, you, you integrated, you balanced your inner or you're working on balancing your inner masculine, okay? This is really a beautiful message, you guys. And I want to, I'm, I'm feeling this strongly now, so I want to say this, but this is for both. I know I have mostly feminine individuals, you know, watching. That's pretty common here on, in this community. Um, but I know there are also those who are more masculine oriented. Masculines are watching as well. And I want, I would just want to make it clear that this message is just as much for you as it is for the feminines. Okay. That's, I just feel that very, very strongly, especially with this last, like, closing message coming through here this is for both sides of the equation this is for everybody okay okay cool so now we're going to close out the reading with some oracle guidance from the crystal mandala deck i heard merkaba for some of you well maybe for all of, i don't know but there is an in, a situation in which your Merkaba has been strengthened, fortified here throughout this process. And I don't know much about the Merkaba. Um, I know it's like a, a defense. It's like a, it's like a protective field around you. If somebody has some insight into how that is relevant in this situation, please don't hesitate to share it in the in the in the comments, yeah. Okay. Let's see what we've got for today, kids. Oracle guidance for today's message. Closing Oracle guidance, please, for today, Thursday, July eleventh, twenty nineteen. I really just want to say there's been a lot of healing that's happened over these last two weeks, guys. And I can attest to it because just thinking about all the purging that I went through, especially last week, I mean, it just feels so very different. But not just for me, on a collective scale, 
it feels very different. Now, me personally, you know, being this channel for people, I was probably picking up on a lot of the collective purging too, but you know what? Hey, it is what it is. Wow, uh, we got two cards. We got card number 37 and card number 38. Look at that, you guys. 37 is Goddess Tara and Tibetan Quartz, her eye ever open. And we got card number 38, Goddess Lakshmi and Dendrik Agate, her golden grace. I love the colors on this card. It's just so beautiful. But this one is gorgeous too. But also... Um, first of all, this looks like it has, this is the symbol for the crown chakra, but also there's this star here on this card that's actually kind of, um, reminding me or making me think of Mer the Merkaba. I know this isn't like a complete, it just, it just resembles it to me. That's what I, I picked up on that. Okay. So yes, if anybody has some relevant information towards that. We'll see what comes out in the card, but if anybody has any res relevant t information towards that that they want to share, please don't hesitate to share that in the, um, the comments, okay? So we're going to start with card number 37, Her Eye Ever Open. We bring you the empowerment of Her Eye Ever Open. The divine protection around you is absolute and complete. Your simple request for the Universal Mother to watch out for you and to protect what has meaning for you allows you to live your life, do your work, and know the most powerful one is caring for your well-being on all levels. You can trust and be free from worry and remain open to the world with joy in your heart. I mean, if that doesn't scream Merkaba to you, I don't know what does. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. Okay. And then card number 38, her... Golden Grace, we bring you the empowerment of her Golden Grace. Divine Mother Lakshmi, who brings blessings of enlightenment and prosperity, beauty and good fortune, smiles upon you now. Open your mind to the reality of divine generos generosity without limit. Open your heart to feel worthy of her love. When you allow her to grant you bounty, to bless you with her Golden Grace, she is empowered to shine her divine beauty in the world, to heal, uplift, inspire and enchant the souls in need. And that seem, feels like a very similar message to what was coming through with this hanged man energy in, in essence, leading by example. Okay. That's beautiful. So there you have it guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me, yeah? With that, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow for our next cup of coffee and our weekend edition, yeah? Take care. Bye.